Hello everybody, Jean Henderson Pierre, the Beer Ramble, once again, another fun, 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 fun beer edition today. We're looking at Budweiser, Freedom Reserve, beer that has been very, very popular, born on date 11, August 18th, I mean August 11th, 2018, so it's a fresh born on date. Uh, 5.4 ounces. This is sort of Budweiser's attempt to try to go tap into their roots. We've seen this done um, by many other beer companies. Paps brought out their uh, old tank of ale um, back was in 2017, late 2017, 2016, around that time. And it, it did very well early on, but sales just w wasn't there. So. Uh, it was the old 1934, 1936 recipe, 37 recipe uh, of that beer. And um, again, a lot of these companies used to do a lot of these sort of, uh, these styles of beers. Um, and that were, there were just never sales, just, just weren't there. So they continued doing what they were doing, you know, making, you know, I guess what people would call crap beer. I say it's good beer, but you know, the things that were bringing in the money you know, the buds, you know, the passwords, you know, down into the light beer territory. Um, this is a lovely color right over here, as you can see. I uh, believe it came out this year, uh, I believe I would say March, either February or March of this year, this beer has been out. And uh, again, rave reviews about it, seen a lot of videos of this on YouTube. Red lager is brewed with barley grains for a slight sweet aroma with a touch of hops, a rich caramel nut taste, and a smooth finish with a hint of molasses. That's why I like bush lagers in the recipe. Again, going back to the beers were back in the day, they taste like real good, the good stuff compared. And they still are putting out good stuff, but again, some say it's crap. Definitely getting that scent of molasses. Definitely a scent of definitely more so the molasses really is gonna take in that sweetness. You can smell the sugar in this beer. Definitely multi. I'm outside right now and it's been brutally hot. And maybe it was just not, may not be a good idea to be drinking a beer like this. You know, maybe again, something more what many of you would consider crap beer or crap. You know, the Natty Lights or the Miller Lights or the Budweiser Select 55s. You know, but on days like this, man, yeah, it, it, they would be fine to, 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 to not back because it's so bloody hot. But obviously, be careful. Case yourself, watch yourself, which is what I'm doing. So, um, definitely really good, man. Definitely some sweetness to this. So, more molasses than caramel I'm getting in this one, but, um, yeah, this is you know, for 5.4, maybe maybe two, maybe three of these you can hit, but I wouldn't go past three. No, I wouldn't do three three bottles of this. I found this at um, today Saver at uh, Gers Cash Saver. Did some stuff while I was out and about, um, getting some stuff. Uh, also got a haircut today. Looking dapper, handsome. Anyway, um, so I said, oh, well, there it is, but why isn't it? Let me try this. So I didn't want to pay the six pack uh, price for the six pack, which is about eight seventy nine right now for the six pack. So, um, so it's, you get what you pay for, your money's worth for this beer. 
but uh, I wouldn't, you know, it'd be a one-time thing. And I think that's what they're trying to do. I don't know what, what Anheuser-Busch's uh, plan is. I know when they did the uh, uh, Freedom, Freedom Reserve, but the other beer that came out with the, um, uh, came out during the summer, the, not, was it the Red Reserve? 1933 repeal, yes, the 1933 repeal uh, beer. Uh, they came out, I think came out around October of last year, right around Thanksgiving, and did just, just did booming business. I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that one a lot. Um, but again, it took it off the shelves, and they said, well, this is just, maybe we'll be just a, a, a limited thing we'll do. And then they was to come out with the Freedom Reserve. And this has really been, really been, you know, um, just... Just top notch, without question. And again, um, bringing to the whole military theme, I guess you know, a patriotism, which we're all for. You know, um, you know it's against anything that's no one's anti-American. You know, Not, no one is really. So, uh, I guess that is their mission uh, with this: is that hey, we're going to bring back the beers that are were powerful, that were good back in the day, that were back then. I was born, many of us were born, but uh, we, uh, these sort of beers, five, you know, I just don't know whether the, the, the market is, is there to withstand it, you know, to, to sustain itself. I mean, um, it's a specialty item for sure. Um, I don't know if I mean, there are other red lagers out there that I've had before. Um, one that comes to mind of a red lager is, uh, is that maybe Killian's? George Irish? George Killian's Irish Red, I would say, is probably the closest thing to a red lager that I've had. And that's good too. So, um, yeah, this beer is warming up very quickly. Very, yeah. This is this is. I don't. I don't know if this is a summer beer, more of a spring beer. Food wise, you compare it to just about anything. Um, I'm thinking maybe a nice, maybe a nice uh, Chateaubriand, ribeye, or T-bone could go with this. There's some potatoes in this beer. I think this is really quite good. So. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that this stays, but again, the price point is, a, is an interesting thing. And so far, again, they've been doing well sales-wise. Commercials you've seen on television, I'm sure you've seen this beer, the commercials of this, and uh, it, it's just been doing banging, banging, banging well. Um, I just don't know how long it, it'll hold up. Um, obviously, Bud is going to be around forever, and, and, and Bud Light, you know, we all know. Hopefully that 1933 repeal comes back in, in, in the fall. Um, but again, um, I think it's like 878 for a six pack, 1478 for a 12 pack. And I think that's as far as from what I've seen at the supermarkets. I, um, um, I don't think they're going to go adding a 24 pack. Um, it's not there yet in terms of with its big brother, you know, Bud. But um, it's uh, about a ways to go. But I guess this is, again, this could be a specialty thing. It could disappear off the shelves, and then the repeal will come back out again. So I guess this is what they're going to be doing. Maybe that's the plan for Anheuser Bush. Put this in the spring and summer, take it back off the shelves, and bring the repeal from the winter all the way until spring and, and fall into winter and spring and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, so born on date, fresh date. I like that. That's a plus for me. Uh, so, yeah, um, this is. A very good beer. I'm gonna give this a B plus, and that would be a 8.7 B plus, A minus, about there. So that is my view on the Budweiser Freedom Reserve. Very well done by Budweiser. Excellent, excellent beer. John Henson Pierre, the beer Ramelton. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Freedom Reserve.